Section 10.5, Applying Other Angle Relationships in Circles. We're now going to look at some other angle relationships to circles. So first thing we're going to look at is an angle formed by a tangent line and a chord. What this looks like is first of all we're going to have a tangent line and then any chord that extends from that point, that tangent point. So we have tangent line AC and chord BD. What we see is that if a tangent and a chord intersect at a point on the circle, that would be point B here, our tangent point. Then the measure of each angle formed is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So what this means is that angle one is going to be half of arc BD and that angle two is going to be half of arc BED. So let's draw a prettier picture here. We have our circle with our tangent point and our chord. Then we can say that angle one is half of arc BD. which is the minor arc here, and angle two is half of arc BED, which is our major arc here. Here's an example. In the pictures below, I want you to find the indicated value. You're, you do know, however, that line M is tangent to the circles. Try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. For this first one, we know line M is tangent and that CB is a chord, which means angle one is half of its intercepted arc here, CB. Thus, the measure of angle one is going to be half of 130, which is going to give us 65 degrees. Let's look at the second example here. Again, we have a tangent line and we have a chord. So the given angle here, 125, is going to be half that of our intercepted arc. So if the angle is 125, then the intercepted arc needs to be twice that, which would make it 250. Thus, the measure of arc GHF is 250 degrees. And those are our solutions.